It's an excellent day in the neighborhood, an excellent day in the neighborhood. Won't you be my smoking buddy today? Hey, it's Monday the 24th of September already. Wow, 2018. Think about that. A couple days into fall. It's awesome here. Come on by and see me and be my smoking buddy. Today, it is Shrink Fender. S-C-H-W-E-N-K-F-E-L-D-E-R Thanksgiving. Yep. Small group of Protestants from Germany uh, at the time of the Reformation and they eventually brought themselves to the United States and live in the Pennsylvania Dutch area and this is their Thanksgiving for bringing them to the new land for their religious freedom in the U.S. National Punctuation Day. Yeah, whoopee. And National <laughs> Cherry Jubilee Day. Hmm. Yeah, 40,000 calories a cup. I can use about six or seven of those. Eating and sleeping are the only activities that should be allowed to interrupt a man's enjoyment of his cigar. Mark Twain. Eating and sleeping are the only activities that should be allowed to interrupt a man's enjoyment of his cigar. Mark Twain. Yeah, you got it. Anyway, out there today... I need a couple more smoking buddies. Yeah. You see, one of my smoking buddies is a Marine, Mr. Martin. And I haven't seen him in a while. So I thought, how better to get him here to be my smoking buddy than to bring him a special Marine Corps snack pack. Martin, O'Brien, both of you guys, I got your snack pack for you. Come and get it, mm, baby. Snack pack ready and willing to go. If you don't eat them all, don't worry. I got a coloring book. You could use the other two that are left. <laughs> You see, like I said, and like Mark Twain said, eating and sleeping should be the only thing that interrupts your good cigars. And you see, when you got smoking buddies like that, and you tell them about it, and, you, and you're able to have a good time with them, and they understand where you're coming from, and you understand where they're coming from, you know, that's why Martin, we call him Beaner. Hey, it's a nickname. He knows we do it with love. You know, I won't tell you everything he calls me because some of it's not even R-rated. But, you know, we, we, we know that it's done in love. You know, we know that we care about each other. And that's the camaraderie that comes with cigar smoking and being true friends and, and having friends like that. And then on top of that, we have... Uh, even though he's a Marine, I'm an Army, I'm sorry he, you know, I already forgave him for making one mistake in his life. And, uh, you know, it's that comrade, the camaraderie, the uh, smoking of the leaf together that just even draws us better together and makes us a family, a community. Nobody said family has to be by blood, it can be by choice and be a community in, in that and the love and caring about each other. If he called me and needed me, trust me, I'd figure out a way to get there to help him. Same thing with him being here. My buddy Kippy the same way, Brian the same way, Sam, Zach, you know, all my good smoking buddies are coming in. I've got some new ones, Joseph, Eric, they all come in. They, I know that if I needed them, they would be here. And if they need me, I'll be there one way or the other to help them out because that's how we roll. That's the community, that's the camaraderie that you get as brothers and sisters of the leaf. You know, you just 
drop everything and help them the best you can, however you can. You see, that's why the only thing that should interrupt a good cigar is eating and, and sleeping. Other than that, I may come help them, but I'll have a cigar in my mouth. <laughs> Somebody came in the other day, I didn't have a cigar in my mouth, I didn't have a fedora or a hat on, they didn't know who I was. Does that tell you anything? They give me a hard time about that. But I tell you what, it's something that's done in love and we care about each other and you get to have some great brothers and sisters of the leaf and then sit down and just flat enjoy yourself. So think about it, enjoy it, and let's talk about today's cigar that we have now, right there. If you haven't seen it, it's a box pressed Solomon. You know, has the has the both ends tapered. Looks like a torpedo on this end. Looks like a torpedo on that end. That's called a Solomon. This one is the K Maduro by Karen Berger. Oh, have we got a Karen Berger special coming for you soon? Stay tuned. I wish I could tell you right now, but okay. But anyway, this cigar is what I consider a absolute 50 true medium cigar. And it stays medium throughout. But do you know what? It's actually a Maduro Habano. Yeah, think about that. You get that little bit extra that is made with the Habano. But since it's Maduro, you get that extra fermenting and darker tone that makes this a true, true, true medium. Great coffee flavor as you start out. It's awesome. Has just a little bit of, of tea and floral. <coughs> when you first light it up, <coughs> excuse me. For those that don't know, that's not from smoking. I take lisinopril, and that's one of the nasty side effects. You get a very dry cough, and you cough from anything. Nothing you can do about it. Helps me keep my blood pressure down so I don't blow up on the rest of the staff around here. So anyway, think about it. Nice, dense smoke. Very creamy very very deep notes of coffee beans and coffee has a spicy tone to it but it doesn't carry it back in the back of your throat a lot of cedar a lot of cedar more like an all spice uh, maybe even a little hint of nutmeg spice but it's not peppery it has no it doesn't come to be as pepper and you got to realize this is what I'm tasting after all smoking everything I do and this gives it a little bit more but it has excellent draw burns awesomely and it's a good I would say a great medium body cigar the K by Karen Berger <coughs> comes Maduro straight Habano or Connecticut straight through without any problem at all and it is phenomenal cigar so if you haven't tried it you need to try it put it on your wish list to do something with and remember find something so that you smoke what you like like what you smoke and above all just kick some ash love you martin